Hey, alright, gang, man. What is poppin'? Alright, y'all, man. I First of all, I'd love to thank you guys for giving me 100 subscribers, man. It's dope, man. We're on the way up, man. I can't thank you guys enough, man. Like, it means the world to me. I know 100 isn't, like, as much as, like, other YouTubers do, but it means a lot right now. We're, we're building every single day. So, basically, uh, since you guys got me to 100 subscribers, I'm gonna tell you something about me that, like, like I really don't tell anyone other than my, like, my, my close, close friends, like, my boys. So, basically, it's gonna be, like, a Q&A a type video you know what i'm saying so uh if you don't already know man all the videos of me being like extremely hype and all that that is 100 percent real like i i'm like that <laughs> i'm like that dude like i actually have i have adhd so like if, if anyone in, in the raw gang has like adhd or anything like that dude like i can relate to you like i like, would like that like we understand uh dude like adhd is not a joke like a lot of people think uh adhd oh he just has adhd he's a little hyper dude no it messes with a lot of other things in your life it's hard to explain dude it's, it's not it's one of the hardest things i had to deal with throughout my life even when i was young to now and i'm still dealing with it uh, I'm dealing with every single day. Uh, I get like, I'll get angry quickly. A lot of like certain things will trigger me. They really shouldn't trigger me. One thing that's big with me is I never acted out in public. I never acted out in public, but I always acted out in my home. And I didn't understand why me doing that caused a lot of problems in my house. Um, it damn near could have like ruined a lot of relationships with my parents. But like for some reason, I don't know how, I don't know how in the world they put up with me, but they did. I love them to death. It means the world to me. The fact that they put up with me. Yeah. So like basically I, I would never like show any signs of having ADHD. I mean, I, I'd be like goofy and stuff in class. I mean, that, that's my personality. I'm a goofy person. That's, I mean, that's a little bit of ADHD, but it's not like the outburst and the behavioral stuff that ADHD has. So me doing that and then just walking in the house and boom, it's like completely new rhyme. What do you want from me? Leave me alone. I was having an attitude with every single thing, man. That's not the right way to do it. Um, in life, it's just, it's not the right way. I need, I still need to figure out how to cope with my anger and stuff like that. And if you're going through the same problems, man, hit me in the comments, dude. I will talk to you. I will help you, bro. Like I'll do anything that I possibly can. Cause I know how hard it is. I know how hard it is. It's not even, it's not a joke. I've sat in my room like thinking like, dude, like what the f am I doing, bro? I know I'm doing wrong, but like in the moment, I can't control it. I cannot control it. It's bad. It's bad. It's bad. It's bad. And you want to control it, but you, you physically, you don't know how to. One thing that I did was I would take my medicine, ADHD medicine. I'm on it right now. Uh, you, you see, I'm not as like hyper and stuff. Yeah. So I'll take my Vyvanse right before I go to school, right when like I get out of school. Completely new Ryan. Oh, what do you want from me? <laughs> I need to continue growing as a person and learning how to cope with it. But like I've gotten a little better as I've gotten older. A lot of bad has happened in my life. Like I'm not even gonna lie to you. I'm gonna keep it like 100 with you. Dude, like I even went to military school my freshman year. Like, dude, I was I was bad. Like it, it wasn't me trying to be bad. It was me not knowing how to cope with myself. I'll get uh, into some of the details of what's happening in my life like as I grow. As I grow, because a lot of, a lot, a lot, like you would be surprised the things that happened in my life that I've had to become and bounce back from, especially military school. I'll do story time videos for you guys, whatever you guys want, man. I love y'all. Y'all are right gang. Y'all are strong, man. Love y'all. But that's why I feel like I was put on this earth to do something big. That's why I work as hard as I possibly can at every single thing that I do. I know 100% that like these things happen to me, but I'm going to do my best to figure it out and be the best person I possibly can from that and try to help others that are going through the same situations that I've gone through. Like, dude, like, it's not even funny. Like, I've gone through ridiculous things. Any and everything that you guys can imagine, like, has probably happened to me. My goal right now is to potentially have a platform. Dude, like, I'm high and I have a lot of people looking up to me and I'm able to just spread them, hit them with knowledge like, all the time. I just want to help every single person that's going through the same thing that I'm going through because, like, I can relate to you. Like, it, it's crazy because, like, Looking back on it, me being 18 right now, dude, like, I don't know how I got through some of the things that I did. Like, dude, going through military school was traumatic, and I completely hit it and acted like nothing happened. When I was a type, I'm still sort of the type of person that, like, I'll, I'll keep all my feelings and I will not show you my feelings. I will not show you, like, you will not see my feelings. You will never be able to tell when I'm sad or anything. But, dude, like, it happens. It happens to me. It happens to everyone. But one thing I have to say for you guys is, dude, like, please express it. Please go to counseling, whatever you need to do, because I've gone to counseling. Yes, I will bring all, all these videos are coming to you. Everything, everything has happened to me. Yeah, 
everything. Um, yeah, so just go to counseling, get better, man, and be happy, dude. Like, live your life and be happy. I feel like every single person has a niche. They have their their thing. And I don't know what my thing is, to tell you the truth. I believe it's with you guys. Uh, and I hopefully, hopefully it is. I don't, like I said in the other videos, in Yes You Can video, I told you guys that I don't want to conform to society and be a drone just like everyone else, having their same, like, like, I told myself that, like, a long time ago, and I told myself, like, I was maybe, like, 12, and I, kn I knew, I knew it, but, like, I didn't know how to do it, and now I'm, like, I'm totally getting it, so I'm, I'm working to do that, um, yeah, so if you, if you have aspirations to be a YouTuber, do just get, chase that dream, hit it hard, dig every day, work every day, post every day, be consistent as possible, man, I love y'all, dog, yeah, so basically just dig deep as hard as you can, and be different and find your avenue like i said if you're struggling with adhd man hit me up hit me up because i got stories for y'all man yeah i mean i guess that ends it um thank y'all for watching man 100 subscribers is ridiculous i love it we're growing every single day it's not gonna be long before we're at a thousand multiple thousand and a million and then it's gonna keep going and i'm not stopping until i hit 100 million and that's a fact and i'm gonna tell you that right now and those 100 subscribers y'all y'all will forever be have a place in my heart like y'all mean the world to me because y'all were here from the beginning y'all saw the struggle y'all saw the grind and it's gonna it's gonna be something big man so thank you guys for watching i love y'all once again man take it easy fam peace there's a reason why we live